Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about what you can expect in love. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you. And let's see what we have for you. Who or what is coming towards you? Spirit angels, guys. Who or what is coming towards Virgo? Who or what is coming towards Virgo? And what do they need to know about this situation or person? Who the Empress? Who or what is coming towards Virgo spirit? What does Virgo need to know regarding love? Let's see what we get. The Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. There's the Empress again. Hmm. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is anxiety, fear, um, uncertainty. Sometimes that card can mean like remorse, someone up at night feeling guilty. So let's see, what's the overall energy for Virgo and what's coming towards them? Spirit. Overall energy for Virgo. What's the overall energy for what's coming towards Virgo? What do we need to know? Oh, I got three. I was not expecting that. Okay, far apart second chances and reach out very um clear messages here someone that feels far from you or is physically distant from you wants to reach out they have something to tell you here maybe they're going to ask for a second chance or just to try things improve the situation right let's 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 work on this make it a little bit better some sort of offer here with the page of pentacles uh, queen of cups is here i feel like this is someone that has feelings for you emotions are already here cancer pisces scorpio energy there and with the empress this could see, this could be what how they um if i could talk how they see you uh the empress is abundant um she's able to manifest anything that she desires she creates a lot of potential with the Empress. She has it all, so we'll see what all of this means. Let's get some clarity here. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Virgo. Why is this here? Wow, the Nine of Cups. So this is like getting everything you would want, emotional satisfaction, feeling very proud of yourself, very satisfied with what you have, wishes granted. So I feel like when this comes in, you'll be very happy to receive it um whether it's a small offer like let's go get coffee or let's meet up and talk i feel like you would be happy to hear that tell me about the page of pentacles wow the three of swords complete opposite energy and there's the five of cups at the bottom of the deck which is all about sadness disappointment over the past and the three of swords is all about pain and difficulty so maybe this is going to be bittersweet when i see the nine of cups with a card like the three of swords and then the five of cups at the bottom of the deck it's like maybe this started off being a really good thing a really good message but then there's something that you heard that you didn't want to hear or perhaps someone could be telling you hey i really miss you i've been heartbroken over you I would be so happy if you accepted my offer, if you accepted, you know, my proposal for whatever it is that they are wanting here. Because someone's reaching out. Ooh, the two of pentacles and the six of wands. I'm, I'm kind of picturing you being like, I don't know if this is going to work. Is this even like worth trying? Um, maybe you're not going to be sure what to do with this offer. Because someone's, oh, okay, my deck just went crazy. Because somebody here wants a second chance or is wanting to try something new. There's the Four of Cups. I feel like that's how you kind of are. Not really open to this at first. Or maybe you're not really loving what you're hearing. I mean, there could be so many reasons why you might not be 100% into whatever is going on here. Can you tell me more about the Page of Pentacles? Now I'm curious. What else do we need to know, Sperry, about this Page of Pentacles? 
Yeah, this is an offer coming in, Ace of Pentacles. So someone's going to be making you some sort of offer. And this does not have to be like, let's get married. It could be something small like, let's try again. There's the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this offer is coming out of like someone being really sad, depressed, or just um, regretful over the past. So they just might be feeling a lot of regret and remorse. They might be feeling guilty over something. And so it's like when they're coming forward, they're telling you this or they look like this. Um, I really do feel this person will tell you that they miss you. Whoever this is. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, please. Yeah, this is definitely somebody coming in for a second chance. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. They're going to tell you that they realize, yeah, that, you know, that they can't live without you or that they really miss you or that something's missing in their life when you're not there. Because the Five of Cups, um, not the Five of Cups, well, yeah, the Five of Cups came out, but Five of Pentacles is about loss. And so is the Five of Cups, actually. You've spilled your cups and you feel really sad about it. Yeah, and they want to start over. Very clear energy. Um, taking the initiative here with the Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, to begin a new adventure, to create something new, to passionately go towards something that inspires you, motivates you. And they want to do that with the person that they care about. I feel like this person is not just going to tell you how they feel, but maybe they have plans for the future that they want to share with you. Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? The King of Swords, okay. Why is the Empress here for Virgo? Five of Wands and the Three of Wands, interesting. Okay, so the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Ener uh, Gemini, energy the knight of swords is at the bottom of the deck i think they're going to come clean about something or be very honest about some sort of problem we already had the five of cups that came out the five of pentacles is here and also the five of wands and fives are all about challenges conflict there's also something here almost like waiting on you or waiting for a response or waiting for an outcome with the three of wands. So they might tell you something like, this is how I feel, this is what I'm planning, this is where I see us going, you know, what do you think? Think about it and then talk to me or respond, right? Whoever this is, it's gonna be possibly like a very quick message, a text or something like that and I feel like you're the one that's going to have to decide if you want to give this person another chance. But this person's very motivated and this there's like this energy here of a new beginning, a new start with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So they know what they want. It's, it's I feel like you're the one that would need to respond because they're going to reach out. They're going to put it out there. And then you're going to be the one that has to kind of be like, okay, I can go for this or let's try it again or whatever, you know. So what else do we need to know about these energies here between Virgo and this person? What else do we need to know, Spirit, for Virgo? Children, your love life is being affected by children. So there could be actual children involved. This card also, I always think of like young energy, innocent energy, immature energy. Someone that's not very mature yet. And that kind of holds them back. But there could be actual children involved here as well. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Ah. So whoever this is, you have a connection with them. I feel like you've also known them for some time with the Far Apart card. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. Almost like you have a history with this person that spans several years, their separation. So you're not with this person. And I feel like maybe there was already a separation in the past and that's why Far Apart is here. There was already like a divide between you and this person. 
Okay, so let's see. What do you need to know about this situation or this person? Spirit, what does Virgo need to know about this situation or this individual? What should Virgo be aware of? What should Virgo be aware of when it comes to this person? This individual, what should Virgo be aware of? What should Virgo be aware of? Okay. One more, please. Okay. Wow. Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. So these two energies are about kind of like holding back, not being very open. So the cherry is here, bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy, and right after that, the Eight of Cups. I feel like a lot of you are really concerned or thinking about if this is something that can be moved past from, like, what a weird sentence, but <laughs> like, I, I'm picturing you kind of thinking, are we able to move past what already happened? Can we move forward? Is there success in the future for us? Because there was already someone that walked away from this connection already. Already something happened here that caused a separation. So I, I sense that you're very, like you have your doubts. I think Spirit is trying to give you a little bit of confirmation here with the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting here like too good to be true energy. Like some of you are concerned that this is too good to be true, that it looks too good on the outside, right? Like, you, you know, there's a little bit of concern there. What, what's this? It just fell out. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, and some of you, I'm getting here from this card, and this is going to be a weird phrase, but work with me because energy is not very like concrete okay but i'm getting the seed isn't big enough <laughs> i know it's weird right but virgo that's what i'm getting it's almost like the offer that's coming towards you you have your doubts about it because you're not sure that this tiny little seed will grow into something substantial that's that's kind of what i'm picking up from that so let's see let's put these together four of cups four of pentacles spirit what can you tell me for Virgo, oops, I do not want those to fall out. Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles. What do we need to know for Virgo? Yep, you are you have trust issues here or just are being very guarded. You're holding back a little bit here, possibly because you've been burned before. And let me know if that's the case in the comments because I feel like there's already a history here. Um, but I think a, a little part of you wonders what if. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, and there's a Seven of Swords. You're wondering if there's a tri uh, like a catch. What's the catch? Because this looks too good to be true. I feel like there can be a new beginning here with the world. And there's almost like a, an, um, a curiosity here that I'm getting from the Queen of Wands. Like this is your emotional side. Um, fighting with your, I feel, this is your logical side. You're fighting each other. You're fighting yourself here because if you go by your impulses, I think you would jump on this. But something's holding you back. And I think it's because you don't really trust this person or you feel like their intentions, you know, maybe their intentions are not what, I don't know. It's like, it's like their intentions might be good, but that's not good enough. Yeah, there's the High Priestess. You're wondering if there's something missing here, if there's something you're not understanding, or if there's something that's being kept from you. Tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Despair. Why is the Ace of Cups here with the Wheel of Fortune? The Knight of Swords. I think that this person is going to come to you with a lot of um, plans, hopes for the future. Yeah. We're going to be happy. We're going to be, this is a great opportunity for us. Now's the time for us to try. We obviously care about each other. Why don't we just go for it? Yeah, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. There's a Page of Cups, you know. We both, I, I'm getting from this card that we both made mistakes 
obviously let me know in the comments if that's the case but that's what i'm getting it's like this person's gonna tell you something like we both had a part to play in this and now is you know now is the perfect time for both of us to try to see if this could be something more of course that'll be up to you if you want to give it a shot but this person de definitely feels there's potential here that there is something to um there's something positive that could come from this um someone's watching this right now that this person they really want their family back together obviously that's not for everyone but that's one of the reasons they feel like this is the perfect time for you to try again and be a happy family that's what i'm getting for i think it's only like one or two of you but let me know in the comments if you feel comfortable sharing um, but that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it brought some clarity or insight into your situation. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. It really helps me out a lot.